Okay, so welcome to the next video in the JavaScript interview question series. In this one, we're going to be looking at singletons. So the question is, can you build an example of a JavaScript singleton, which is simply an object that every time you try to get an instance of it, you get a reference to the same instance. So if it doesn't exist yet, one gets created, but every other request after that, you're going to get a reference to the same object. So when you are doing things like this, you're creating a couple of different objects and you're referring to your object here, you're going to have a method. It doesn't have to be called get instance, but it'll be something like that. You call this method and it will either create one if it hasn't been created yet, or it'll get a copy. It'll get a reference to the original one. So let's look at how to do that. Um, down in the description, you will see there's a link to the starter code. So if you want to grab that and have a go, try this out. And if you've still got questions, not sure where to start, what to do, in just one second, I'll be back and we will go through the solution. Okay, welcome back. So here we are. We've got a variable called object instance. Now this is inside of an iffy. So this function is going to run, and then whatever we return here, this is what gets passed into this object right here. So this object becomes obj. And as you can see down here, we're going to need a method inside of here called getInstance. So let's start with that. So we're going to create something called getInstance, which will be a function. Now inside of here, what we need to do is check whether or not this thing already exists. So inside of here, we can go up and this is our actual object itself. This is the thing that we're going to be talking about when we say get instance. I want to know if this thing exists. You can call it anything you like, but this is the, uh, this is the object that we're talking about. So let's check to see if not object instance. So if it doesn't exist yet, in our case here, the variable has been declared but nothing has been assigned to it. So therefore, the very first time this run, this is going to be undefined. So this is going to come back true. Then if it's true, we're going to say that object instance is going to be equal to calling the method create. Whatever that gives us back. So inside of here, there's going to be a return statement. And this is going to be the object inside of here, which in turn, will become the object that we're referring to here. All right, we've done the create if it didn't exist. And now, if it did exist before, or we're calling it for the first time here, doesn't really matter. We have the object and we're going to return object instance. Okay, so that is the shell. That's, in a nutshell, that's how you create the singleton. It's this logic right here. If it doesn't exist, call the create method. If it does exist, just return whatever's inside that variable. Now we have to put something inside of there. So we can do anything we want. I'm going to create a couple of methods. I'm going to create a, a property for it to have. Let's say we're going to have a property called is running. We'll set it to false. And this is just to have something in here. We'll have a um, method called start. We'll have a method called stop. And we'll have one current state. Okay, inside of here, we're going to set is running equal to true. And here we'll put it back to false. Current state, we're just going to return. It's going to be a method that's going to tell us what the current state is. There we go. Now inside of our return, we want to expose these three things, these three methods. Maybe we don't want to expose is running. We want to use these three methods to control that. So we're just going to expose those three things. We're going to return start. We're going to return stop. And we're going to return current state. There we go. Okay, so now we have it. We have an iffy 
immediately invoked function expression, which is going to run inside of it. There is one variable and one function. The return is going to return one function that references that variable up here. So a closure is being created. We're returning this one variable. Now, if the variable is undefined, we're going to call this create method. The create method sets up these properties and methods, and it returns references to those three methods. So it's creating closures around this. So that comes back. Now obj instance is a reference to this. This object with these three methods inside of it, and that's what we're going to return. And now, every time we call this, so we can call it as many times as we want, and then we can call the, uh, let's call the start method on the first one, and then we'll find out obj1, what is your current state? And we'll also ask the second one. Now, if these are pointing to the same object, then we should get the same answer back for both of them. So let's bring up the terminal and we'll run that. There we go. So it was set to true for both. And just to test this before we call start, I should be consistent with my semicolons. There it is. So they were both false. And then we called start on obj1. Now they're both true. So we can see that they are pointing to the same object. And that's it. That is a singleton. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.